So you got in trouble as a teacher. You, yes. What did you do? Well, as a you teacher? see, what I started to do was to use what we were uncovering in the Nova Scotia project, and particularly with Club Quacha. Quacha was like a, the youth wing of the project, and um, uh, we had. Uh, programs specifically targeted for them, uh, uh, tutoring programs, uh, uh, getting university professors to come in to tutor and all that. You know, it, it was a crazy time back then. Uh, and training these young people how to speak up and introducing them to out there things. These were kids that we took and introduced to Timothy Leary. Right. And, and taught how to talk with these people. Mm -hmm. That when you don't understand something but that they're saying, tell them, you, look, you're not making any damn sense. Just tell me what you got. To. And they did that at a huge conference and had the conference all turned upside down. Sololinsky was there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is what we were teaching these kids. So naturally, when I would go into a classroom, I'm going to go into the classroom with a very different mindset mm -hmm. than what's out there. And one year, I had the opportunity to teach part of the year to a private school. Really? A, a dark a private school, gone now. Now it had five, about 500 students. One child of color was from India. Oh. And, it, and it's set up like the old, like the English, you know, upper and lower forms and all the da da da. And you, the, the costume, you know, the kids had the, the, the uniform. All boys, the, the, the blazers, blue, gray. The, 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 the teachers, the men, blazers, gray. And the women, you know, gray skirts. And the, Walter Dashikis. Right. Well, what were they going to do? <laughs> <Nothing>. <laughs> Because what happened, and this is true, the headmaster got a, a, a call, because he told me that, from one of the uh, parents of the pupils, of one of my pupils, who told him, she told him, she was so looking forward to the teacher who made her, made her child want to come to school. Even if he was sick, I had have gotten had gotten calls from parents who would ask me to tell their child that they couldn't come to school because they were sick. Hmm. If I told them, they would do it. If the parent told them, they wouldn't. Hmm. But it was, uh, what, what were we talking? We were just talking about stuff. I used to take a well. Sometimes I didn't take a Saturday morning. My cousin Joe would come knocking on my door, my bedroom door, and say. Walt, get up, get down here, your pupils are here. Hmm. They would be there like at 9 o'clock, a group of them, 9 o'clock in the morning hmm. on a Saturday hmm. to come to spend the whole day. Hmm. Now, they learn many things. You don't just spend the day at Joan Jones's house. There's work to be done, you're <laughs> going to do it. Those kids would be going to the store, doing this, doing that, that, that. And when they weren't, they'd be sitting in the library because we had this library that had books that hey, were nowhere else in this country. Mm -hmm. And so here you have these little white kids mm -hmm. in what would be like seven, eight, nine, whatever, sitting there at the height of the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. the same in the same house that the Panthers had come to visit us in. Mm -hmm. These little kids sitting there reading these books but. France Fanon, and I know it had to have some effect somewhere down the road, even though I, I have never seen most of them ever again. Mm -hmm. But all this certainly got back to the powers that be. Now, when I was, that was the private school. When I was in the regular school, <clears throat> I did the same thing. I just got the parents on my side. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. And thereafter, they can't do anything to you. Mm -hmm. If the parents are on your side. If the parents are on your side, they can't do anything to you. Mm -hmm. And when I say on your side, I mean they were. Mm -hmm. Because with the, I, I, I dealt with students 
on many, many different levels. We had an understanding, an agreement, literal agreement, that we could discuss anything and that it wouldn't go outside of our classroom because we did it as a group or those times when it was one-on-one, -on -one, that what was between us stayed between us. I'd help as much as I could. But there was a method to my madness because the parents knew that I had this with the students because I'd already told the parents, listen to me. If your child tells me something in confidence, it's going to stay in confidence mm -hmm. until, and that's the big word, mm -hmm. until the child and I agree you should be told, this is what I'm telling you, you will always be told, mm -hmm. always. But only when the child agrees, and I have a plan that they will always, always. agree. Yeah. Okay? It's a methodology here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking about the end result. And that was the understanding that I had with the parents. Mm -hmm. And the parents were and, on and your side. Totally, because it always happened. It turned out just that way.